Hello and welcome to another video from Geek at Play, Vladimir Chopin. So in this video we're going to create a very simple just um, castle within a hill or a forest. So we'll just go ahead and render, create some of those uh, fog look or lower clouds around our castle. We're going to use the model from um, Geek at Play collection. It used to be on Cornucopia, now it's for the Patreon available. And after we'll go in inside the Photoshop and just create this teeny tiny look like illustrations. Okay, and this is straight out of the Vue render. And this is also process it, just overall a little bit color correction, sharpness and a border. Just to make illustration if you want it, you can create this for your book cover, for whatever you want. So just have fun, sit down and relax and creating any art. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by creating a terrain and we'll just go create normal standard terrain push a little bit on the back right here and if we look on the size it's one kilometer by one kilometer our terrain next we're going to import model and i'm going to just use it one from um, moorish collection and this is model used to be on sale on Carnacopia but current copy is um, kind of out now so if you still want these models i have it by the way all the models all presets um everything available for the patreon support i will provide a link before and it's like over three gigabyte i think 3.5 gigabyte just of the models textures presets it's a lot of lot of content there if you want it and also access another three or four gigabyte access to all tutorials from Karnakopia. So if you become the Patreon support, you can have access to all of them. Anyway, so right here is a castle. I think actually this is a good angle for this castle I want to create it. Notice it is a little bit floating in the air, which is okay for us because we only showing what we want and beside that we can always fix this and that's what we're going to do in editing in our modeling so for this we right click and we're going to edit object on the terrain so now we have it, our terrain editor open okay let's zoom out rotate to view we want to go and enable show entire scene so right here you can see we have our castle pop-up and we can see a little bit easier what's going on. So before we add ground, I want to set just a little bit of uh, limitations for this. So we'll go enable show clipping plane. And I want to take my max and go down, 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 down on the max till I hit about floor level right here. There you go. So now if I'm going to paint and I'll select just a brush paint. Okay, let's go to uh, reduce radius and we don't want to invert. So you can see, oops, actually what I forgot to do is right here, constraint to clipping. So I want to enable that one. Okay, brush, okay, with our right invert. So now you can see as I'm painting, it's kind of nice, it's constrained, so it does not go very far. In this case, I can just go and paint terrain around my castle. So I don't want to create hill, but I want to just create plateau almost. Okay, let's go look. And we have our mountains on the back, which is actually look very good. If you don't like this mountain, you can erase at the same time. You know, you can go ahead and just let's go, for example, have it peaks. We can change to the peaks. But remember again, because we change, we want to pan back. But you can play around with this and see which one you like. I think peaks maybe were good. Okay, when we're done, let's go take our level up. Okay, we can also just for now disable all of this. Let's preview. Right here you can see we paint blood. Let's go click OK. Okay, next I want to come to my castle. 
And because I paint, but I don't know how accurate it could be, I want maybe just place it right edge. You can see right here, I can still see some edge. I want too much. Just maybe right, like right there. Okay, so now my castle kind of laying on the ground. Okay, let's go zoom out. Okay, um, it is somewhat we have a background which will go and work with materials, but this is our basic. So right here on this ground, I want paint, maybe add some rocks and other elements. So let's go ahead and work on a texture. I'm going to select terrain. My first terrain will go open material editor. And you know what, let's see what we can preload already exist. And we have it all as multiple grounds. Again, I permeate and sometimes I feel a bit guilty kind of to tell, you know, hey, get this box. You don't need to. But again, this is all is included. So we'll go right here, select one, add a grass to this. So, you know, I kind of don't like a little bit this one. So let me go ahead, delete, just create one and I will just select from um, that area. Go to basic, we'll go to navigate, landscapes, ecosystem. So I'm just going through them, see what we have here. So we'll go to ground yep, and go select my grass. So the nice things about this grass, why I like it, it is um, have a very nice with the shadowing and everything look like real with almost no um, hard work. So we'll switch to world standard. It will create smaller. Let's go scale one. Okay, and important on the bumps, I think bumps is a little bit too high. So I'll set just 0.01 very very low okay let's go ahead click ok and let's go to render we want to render on a screen preview and let's preview what we have here so again this is very rough preview and this is just a base layout i think that is kind of okay except right here patterning i can see so we'll need to go inside and maybe pop up scale to 10. So that, yep, then we'll give it a little bit better look. Let's preview one more time. Don't worry about too much. I just pattern and I see it's appear kind of more. But we don't need to worry too much about this. A couple of ways we're going to fix it. We'll just add rotation. And rotation will just take each tile, kind of help rotation. We can also help a little bit with the cycling. But on rotation, we'll go rotate with the X. Okay, and cycling. Okay, so it just will help a little bit. Um, be careful because I think I had too much and then she just starts stretching right here. So with my rotation, let's just keep it only one angle. And I should a little bit help better right there. You can see already breaking some of those patterns. Okay, this is what I wanted. Okay, let's go ahead now start painting some other elements. For this, we'll select our terrain. We'll go open actually before open. Let me zoom out and position a little bit more on the castle. So our camera go from here. I want to paint a little bit of rocks. We'll go right add, create new layer, switch this layer to um, ecosystem particles. Now in general, we'll go to add item and I want to add rocks. 
and right here is actually a different type of collection. I think rough rocks will be look interesting and we'll go just with large R. Okay, so we add rocks. Let's see if we can add another rock. And maybe just this one rock. Yeah, I think those ones look good. Zoom a little bit more. And I just want to add rocks a little bit by the castle. Um, we'll don't use populate, we'll use a paint tool. Okay, and paint tool, we'll select airbrush, selection, okay, we'll go populate, select this population. I don't want to limit density, okay, and we'll just put a few of rocks, just look right there, you can see few of them come so we'll just paint a little bit up let's go ahead brush radius increase pop up a little bit of rocks on the side okay if it's too much let's reduce our flow Okay, right there, and we'll just a little bit on a hill. Okay, I think right here we actually a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay, when we're done, we can close it, click OK. And if we preview now, we should have it. some rocks hiding on the side. Again, don't worry too much about them sticking out because we are going to add plants and other ones, but it would create interesting um, elements. Kind of also help us hide this straight edge on the side. Okay, so next let's go open our material editor again, create a new layer. No, actually before this, let me rename this rocks, so we know it's rocks. Okay, go create new layer, convert again to ecosystem, and let's go trees. So we'll go set trees on this. Again, same, now we'll go to add plants. And as a plant, I will just go and add pine tree. It's probably will be just on a back right there. We'll just create a little bit of placing. Okay. Let's go to add another plants and we can add. Well, let's see what we have here. We have let's go in the trees area. And we'll just add probably some of the lime tree. Let's add that one. Add another plant. We can add maybe Scottish pine. Just something different. And let's go to add one more plant. Something smaller. There you go. So the different coloring. Again, we'll go take our paint tool. Set population, and we'll just can start paint few of the elements. Okay, let's go back. Zoom out, and I'm just looking right when I'm painting how it will go in a camera. I think this is kind of look okay. Look a little bit more foresty. Let's go next and we'll take scale and just drop scale to about six. And we come a little bit closer. The reasons it will create a little bit smaller, but we have this nice distance going. Okay, we can come closer here. Place it a few plants closer. Okay, if you're on the back. 
I don't want to overdo too much because just the plants will go here. And I think by manually we can start placing plants closer to our castle. So when we close this, um, before click OK, you know what? Let's add another layer. Let's call it grass. And we'll switch this to ecosystem particle. Let's go to add plant. And we'll go to our grass plants. And we have it some of the bunch of grass. So let's select that one. The grass it says it is uh, from the plant factory. So that's what we're going to do. just come in let's go to add another item plant and then set grass actually we can mix with different one so let's go add small grass field we'll add another plant the nice things when you mix them they actually come up very good so you want to add all this different type of the plants okay now we'll go to flowers and I want to add different flowers, but here's the thing. When we add flowers, I want to decrease very small percent of them. So we'll have it um, not so much, just a little, little bit of the flowers there. Okay, so let's add this one. We'll add maybe 2% on the brightness. Let's give 4%. Okay, I think this is about right. Now we can go click pin, come closer. So it's around this area where we need to go. You can see the cliff, how it's going. We'll go to paint, okay, select our brush. We'll set limit to density, just maybe a little bit smaller. And let me make a few kind of putting out. Okay. Yeah, right here. So we want to plant it around this area. And I can see right where it's going. So we just add. And a couple of things what I want to do, it's uncheck limit density. So it will be kind of more dense going around here. It's what I want to do. And we'll just go in a corner. And paint on here. There you go. Okay, we can also just sprinkle a few of the colors around this area. Mostly because we'll have this multicolored flowers, and it will be nice to see them far away. I'll just put spray around that area. I say they don't do too much because they spread around, but they add some coloring. Most important it is, of course, around this area. We want higher density. And when I'm painting, I'm looking on a corner where they appear. And we have a nice background with the grass, so they will matching and it will should go very good together. Okay, when we're done, let's go ahead, close this one, click OK. I think we're ready to add individual. Before we do this, be sure to go and save your work. And now we're gonna click. Let's go to actually a bit bigger. Click OK and let's render. I want to see a little bit larger size. Again, a preview from here. I can see we. I want to add a plant tree on the side. Just don't like this gap. Probably add some bush around this area and a little bit on a cliff. So we'll have it framing kind of add. After this, we'll add clouds, hero cloud, 
and just lighting it's already lighting not bad actually going like this but we'll just add a little bit more mist kind of to our castle okay so our render going i'm looking rocks and rocks look kind of floating on the ground it's not realistic so let's fix our rocks our flowers you can see it's add some of these nice elements so far away but rocks definitely need rework so we'll close this one we'll go terrain open our material editor and let's zoom out a little bit and we'll go to select our rocks and let's click clear so we want to remove those rocks we don't want them there but we want to paint them again so in, as we select paint we'll go to our paint tool and let's see what we can modify in our paint notice we have a brush follow all these elements but we need actually to paint them below the ground and we can do this paint below ground if we're going to edit some our brush so for these ones let's go to in the brush editor okay we have the stack at scale flow so we have those elements rotation Get directions from surface 20 and let's go zero okay I think that one is okay and with moving no we don't care about the moving we could but it will add some elements to this so our density we can let's enable density and we can just type a few of the rocks preview of them they should be actually now getting a little bit better right here just leave it under so let's go ahead and see what else we can do here our flow is set okay ecosystem population rules so we can enable this one use the ecosystem population rules and if we do this we can go to our density and we can set population set minus 0.2 so 20 centimeters oops 0.2 20 centimeters below okay let me put minus up front there you go so now when we're going with our paint tool so branch okay general and let's go with our brush edit use the ecosystem rules so let's see if we're going paint up front there should be right underground kind of almost Leave it below. Okay, we can add a few more right there, rocks. And we play preview, see if the rules will apply. So we'll go also just add more here. And okay, that one should work a little bit better. click OK and let's render our preview okay we can see our rocks a little bit better there right there you can see about 20 maybe put it even more some of those rocks we can try to do this and add this a um, little bit closer here so let's go ahead open our terrain again we'll go with the rocks and you know what let's go with the density and put it maybe minus um 50 half oops okay minus 50 centimeters so they will be even deeper okay we don't care about decaying uh, we could reduce size scaling and we can reduce shrinking a little bit down this area again we'll go to the rocks let's go to the pain and we'll select same paint brush let me dance the same things we want to re-enable 
be sure we use the ecosystem population rules the reaction so let's go just add a few more rocks here and yeah right there actually don't necessarily need it so let me do, undo that one okay let's go back to rocks I just want to be sure 15 centimeters shrink okay all set here we'll go back to our paint tool oops click on that one use the ecosystem population okay let's go back to painter limit density we can just reduce a little bit scale on the rocks Yeah, that'll be better now. Or maybe add a couple somewhere right there. Some on the mountain. Okay, so we're done with this. Actually, with the trees, let's select tree. And I want paint, but I want paint below because I look and it's look a little bit empty horizon there. So same, we'll just select paint. And we'll just paint a little bit on the back. Right there, so we'll kind of cover a little bit. I just did not like back, back was kind of empty there. Okay, let's go click OK. Remember, save your work as you're going along. Connect. let's go to add single trees and we'll start by going with the trees select our pine tree okay we'll bring it closer bring it up and just position around here how say I just don't like the opening right to this one look kind of ugly so we'll go bring and put a few more trees to create this kind of almost look from the forest. So till we select same tree. And it's a little bit up, creating That's another plant. Okay, shrink it just a little bit down. Placed right there. Okay, I think that is look. Okay, let's go select different tree. I'm um, now we'll go with the elder, alder, whatever it's called. So we'll do this one. We'll bring it closer and a little bit up, like a bush almost. Okay, hold down Alt key or Option left click and drag so it's all just copy and the reason I just want kind of almost like fillers right there somewhere putting okay let's go create another okay and that one will bring somewhere right there by the corner Let's go ahead select different colors. It's nice when you mix them. And we'll take a later spring. So those is yellowish. This will be a little bit more greenish. And notice I'm just kind of sticking them so they have a nice effect. So we'll take this one, move on the back, rotate. Just give it this feeling right there between the plants. Kind of like feeling around this area. Okay, let's add a little bit more up front, like almost plants go right around this area. 
So we'll say we we'll hold it, copy this one. Okay, let's move it here, bring it down. Create another one. We'll just write this area I want soften because I don't like these rocks looking too open. Okay, same around here. Okay, let's even shrink it down. Just have this edge work a little bit on this edge right this edge. Okay, let's go ahead, select back to maybe yellow we could add another tree here or tree around this area we'll see how it will come up okay and right there let's go select maybe um Line tree that should be very big okay so we'll go there we'll take our tree now let's bring up and place down so we'll go ahead and maybe place it around this area you know what let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller And I think maybe right here placed as well, something on that. So for this one, we'll go select. Kind of bush right in this corner. I just don't like how it's empty looking right, right around. Okay, so we'll go create, um, let's go this other kind of plant. And just bring up and we'll just place somewhere around those rocks. I think around here will be nice. You can also drop a little bit down. Just kind of make interesting scenery. Um, like almost growing between this area. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Yeah, let's render our preview. Okay, so our render is done. We can look. It's actually kind of a nice blending here. This corner maybe need a little bit add something. So then we'll go just create another tree. Same like tree and we'll just put it around this area right here. Okay, so we'll take a drag right there and bring something like this in a corner so just add a little bit more kind of greenish to this area okay uh, let's go ahead and save our work and now i think we're ready to zoom out and let's work a little bit on atmosphere so first we'll take our sun and we can go ahead and okay and we can try to bring just a little bit down just slightly so it will give it us warmer look. Um, I'm not sure about positioning, so we could give it more shadow by going behind the cameras. That will increase shadowing and highlights. So we can do that. It will give it us interesting lighting. You know what? Let's bring up just a little bit. Okay, next let's go to Atmosphere Editor. And in Atmosphere Editor, we are on Photometrics, what we're going to use. A um, few things, I want to go to Inside Sky Fog, let's go pop up a little bit aerial perspective. It's all give it us um, some nice hazing, we can do a little bit more on this. But I want to go in Clouds right now and we'll go to 
loaded light clouds. Let's go start with a just simple turbulence. So it will put on the top. I don't want to add them too much. Actually, I think they look okay. So we'll just leave it like this. Let's go create now a canvas and we'll go to actually spectral. And let's go to big camels and those ones cloud. And these clouds actually they look nice already. We can do add altitude variations, so it will add a little bit interesting more on the top to them. Um, drop little details, pop up on the ambient lighting. Well, let's see how they come up should have a little bit smoother effect okay and I still think maybe in sky fog let's pop up this aerial perspective way higher maybe around two point I just want to be sure I add haziness to these far trees like this so it will give it us a little bit more this dimension look okay um, let's increase for ground density a little bit to like 33 should give it us a little bit more wider look with a glowing can give it this a little bit hastens maybe too much you know what I mean let's drop this one just a little bit lower okay and maybe you not know, add a glowing here and reduce glowing in the clouds so just brighten one corner and darken just a little bit another corner as well okay we can do also just increase haze very high it should darken quite a bit but we'll lose blue color i'm not necessarily like it it's flattened too much for me so opposite we actually take haze removing so it should give it us more coloring with the sky reduce all that flattening a little bit more depth adding but it's also notices brightness so let's do this increase here reduce glowing bring this one up okay so it should give it us a little bit more clear now look now with the clouds let's try one thing let's take cover to about 67 I just want to see a little bit more opening sky. Not too much, but just a little bit in those areas. Okay, there you go. You can see just a little bit more opening there. And I do like actually density and everything. Um, what we can do next, let's click OK on this, let's save it. And we actually can go inside the clouds. Okay. And we can add meta cloud. Okay, so let's go right here. We'll just add meta cloud. And that should be right around there. You can see kind of add this fog going through our forest. We can bring a little bit closer. Let's add this kind of nice foganist to our trees. So yeah, I think this one look kind of nice. We can just leave it rotation and bring so it will be almost going down the hill. Okay, maybe too much. Let's rotate back and move slightly back. Just readjusting, I don't want clamps i want to have it some of this but yeah there you go a little bit nicer okay we could add same we could create another cloud okay let's create one more okay only take and bring this up closer let's rotate bring here shrink it we don't need too much because we're going closer and we'll just kind of bring right around this area. So 
so I don't know how well it will look, we'll put maybe behind a wrapping like around castle. Almost add this way. Just I want behind kind of almost tree so you can see like right there. You know, let's bring behind these trees just around castle. So I want these trees a little bit clear so it's almost there you go. You can see kind of almost going right there. Okay, um, I think it's kind of look already coming nice with the fog on the mountains, clouds. We have it a little bit around this area. Um, let's do a couple things. Let's go back to our atmosphere editor. Okay, and we can play a little bit more with the lighting. Okay, clouds I think okay. Um, we could add a little bit darker, maybe cloud on the back. Or a little bit right there. I'm not sure, we'll see about this. Um, but sky fog, let's increase decay. So it will be add a little bit warmer color to our look. Okay, and if we add warmer, we want to add cyanish, so I'm dry sky. It should be darkened quite a bit right on the top. There you go. You can see it's darkened clouds. But this may be a little bit too much, so let's go back to 26. I want a little bit warmer, but I don't want two warm colors. So just a little bit cold, a little bit out on this color. Maybe even 22, 24 around that area. Okay, we can take um, sky ground density down and you can see it will darker quite a bit sky. That will give it us more shape on our clouds. Again, how we want to blend them. But I'm not sure if I like darkness that much. So let's go back to 80. Sky will leave similar haze. We can bring back a little bit haze to smooth some of this grayness because we will have it grain in our sky and the haze will a little bit landing. Yeah, a little bit softer, smoother on the sky. Let's pop up ground and give it a little bit more on a glowing perspective. So I'm just increasing the density of atmospheres, all this haze and everything, it's what happened. You can see, you just make it a little bit more dense. But I'm not sure if I like this too much dense because we start losing some of the details. But again, let's look quite a bit interesting. Okay, let's drop down some of these elements. And I think with atmospheres actually come up very good. We did not do too much of other elements. I think it's good. So let's go ahead, set our quality at least zero. I'm setting to one. On the lights, I'll pop up also quality. I know it will take longer render time, but you know, why not? Okay, we'll go to save our work at this moment. And we'll go just to set final, at least I want final render to screen, and we'll go with HD resolution. Let's go ahead, click OK, and start rendering. So what I'm going to do is pause the video till render is completed and come back after it's done. But you know, as I'm start rendering, one thing I notice, which I don't like it, let me cancel that render. It is this opening right here. Something is just does not fit right. So we'll take another this tree. Okay, I'll hold on Alt key, move it. So it just duplicated. Okay. We'll go brush right there. Increase in size. Rotate slightly. Push on the back. And right there. So just kind of I did not like necessarily this opening. I want a little bit closer, but if we do this, 
won't take this plant, move it more. Okay, let's just reposition them so we have it nicer cover. Okay, and same with this one. Make it bigger. So growing up. Okay, let's go to duplicate this one. Open the side and shrink it. And push all the way to the castle. So just add a few more right in this area because I kind of do not like how the things coming up. Okay, and let's take this lime tree we have. That one. We'll also copy, paste it, rotate, shrink it, and maybe you know bring even some around here. Just create this extra effect right there, so we'll have it of nicer blending in okay I think that is good so okay there was just how say it's pop up when I start render I just did not like how it's look so again let's continue our render on a HD resolution at least and we'll go to pause and don't know how long it will take it but we'll come back after render is completed okay so right here we have it our render done you can see we have nice fog same in the clouds. I'm going to save this image as the normal PSD Photoshop format and also as uh, HDR so we can post process and bring a little bit of those textures out even straight out of the camera. It's look interesting image that is a uh, fun time that we do in about 40 minutes. So let's go ahead. Um, we'll do a little bit post processing but again if you're interested you can um, become Patreon support and downloaded all of the collection, all models, three something gigabyte, a huge collection, and video tutorials, additional three, four gigabytes at the Patreon. Okay, thank you. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going ahead and take our HDR file, and you can use it any other application. I'm just using quite a bit old um, app. It is um, if I'm right for the Matrix Pro, all what I want to do is you can see right here, just give it those texture, bring a little bit more out. Bring them quite a bit up, maybe around here. We go ahead and apply this, and um, let's go to add a little bit sharpening. I think it's good. And we'll just save this as TFF. Okay, so we're done with this one. So let's go inside the Photoshop and we'll go ahead open our PSD file and we'll just take tone map it that we created before. And right here you can see the different. The only how say it, it's give it all this texture that I probably want to use it. So we'll take this image, a drag drop on top. Okay, we'll go create a new mask, black mask. Take a brush, you know, maybe let's go with the soft. Uh, let's go with a 10% opacity and we'll set the white color. We can adjust a little bit, add a texture, not too much, just in some areas. You know, maybe on the clouds a little bit. More greengy on a castle, All right there. There you go. So, like I said, not that much, but you can see just add a little bit more. But I want to st still have it um, fog kind of on a back. Also, if you want to make um, magic. We can create new layer, filter, 
blur add Gaussian blur maybe probably about eight and let's go switch to the screen right here same we'll go create new mask for this and now with this we can just add almost like a sun rays glowing sun rays and maybe a little bit more right here a little bit of fog just in some areas okay sun rays going there sun rays going here and a little bit more fog around okay so we can go high before and after if you want stronger sun rays you always can create new 100% white just create lines like this now let's go ahead and filter blur and get and blur on them and switch them to the soft light So if you just want add, but I, I don't think we need, I think this one will work very good. Okay, so let's go ahead next. I want to do it's add selective color. We'll go to the blacks and this is our, okay, so right here we have a selective color. So we can take our black and you can see we can kind of bring different ways. I want to bring just a little bit down and bring colder colors now we're darker okay so we'll go next to the neutral and here's our neutral we'll also just bring maybe a little bit neutrals and on the neutrals i want just bring maybe a little bit cold as well okay and let's go now to our whites so we'll bring whites down bring a little bit more details but we'll go on white a little bit more in a warmer color. Just a little bit. So right here. Okay, let's go look also on our greens. Okay, right there are greens. We'll bring them down. Bring, and you know what? I think it's in cyan colors also, yes. I'll bring them just a little bit to warmer. Okay, so here's our simple color correction. And I don't know if you like this way or not. You can adjust. And you know what? Let's create another curve. And we'll switch this to the color mode. We'll go blue. We'll go with the up and down. Okay, right there. Let's go create red. Okay. Cyan and bring back up. It's a little bit more illustration curve will do. So right here it's our coloring. Uh, next I want to do actually create new layer. And if we're doing all the way, we'll go to filter forge. And in filter forge, I just want to create this little bit border. Frame, let's go to settings. This way we kind of will create almost uh, let's go roughness up frame a little bit down yeah it is smoothing click apply so right here we have our frame create new mask let's go bring them down because the 10 percent and we'll can probably three percent can paint in some of those towers so it will look like almost they're coming out out of picture okay here a little bit stronger also if you want it just as an example you can bring those plants in from this corner as well
tightly a bit up like this. And a little bit of clouds here. And just overall, you know, add a little bit. Um, if you want it, if you think you don't need it, remember you can always pin the back out because we're working with mask. But here's the one effect of illustrations. And of course, going filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Pop up a little bit over. And here we have it, our kind of castles illustration done. So let's look. It's full render. And this is after. Well, we'll add some rocks. I don't know if I like this or I want to bring maybe frame down. Or you know what I mean? Even we can do this way. Um, we can take this frame on a lower and just bring a little bit more of those rocks like right here, kind of bring them in. There you go. Kind of bring our frame. So we have a little bit nicer look. Okay, so right here is our short tutorial that we've gone about an hour to do this uh, castle you can do for illustration if you do book or other things cover you can do this way and i appreciate um your time for watching this video thank you for your support again if you want it go check on patreon go on geekitplay.com check for more tutorials and let me know if you have any suggestions or you want to do any other videos thank you again